prescription drug pouring out of medicine cabinet and into the hands of drug enforcement agents. All done with this one. Yeah. Boxes and boxes of the meds sent to a secure incinerator in Florida to be destroyed. Should I have a go take. National Drug Take Back Day was launched in 2010 to address the growing prescription drug abuse crisis and opioid epidemic. Linwood and Francis Duroncelet dropped off 10 boxes and three large bags of pills at the take back location in Metairie. The medication prescribed to a family friend who passed away this summer. For some reason, they just kept them. They didn't dispose of them. Linda Morgan handed over her prescriptions too so that her old medication will not become someone else's addiction. If I don't use them and it's extra uh, medication that's in my home and I really don't want it to get into the hands of anyone else, even if I threw it away, you never know what's going to happen with it. State Representative Helena Moreno says we can't get drugs off our streets until they're also out of our homes. When you um, look at the statistics regarding who's using heroin, street heroin, um, those individuals who are addicted to that drug say that that they started, 80% of them started by abusing prescription opioids. The national statistics are startling. 47,000 overdose deaths last year. 2,500 teens take prescription drugs to get high for the first time every single day. In Louisiana, the problem is especially potent. Doctors here prescribe more opioids than in any other state. So many pills that in 2015, there were more prescriptions written in the state than there were people living here. This spring, the Louisiana legislature will consider new laws that could drop those numbers dramatically. We may put in place a certain day limit so that if you have a procedure where you are being prescribed, a painkiller opioid medication that instead of being able to get, let's say, a 30 day supply, we're going to limit you to only having a seven day supply likely, maybe a 14 day supply, maybe a three day supply. States are doing it differently, but this is something we're looking at. In Metairie, Jennifer Crockett, WDSU News.